Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8.0.41 on Fedora Linux 41. Open any web browser. Go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Then click on downloads. Scroll down. Then click on MySQL community downloads. Then click on MySQL community server. Then see here we have the versions. 8.0.41. If you are unable to find the version here, you can click on this archives. There you can find the older versions. Okay. So select the version 8.0.41. Then select the operating system Fedora. Then select the operating system Fedora 41. Once we selected Fedora, see populated list of the RPI packages that needs to be installed. Okay. But instead of downloading these RPM packages, just download this RPM bundle. So click on download, then click on no thanks, just start my download. See download started and its size is 820 megabytes. Wait until download completes. Once download completes, we will install the MySQL 8.0.41. See download is completed. Now open terminal. Go to downloads. LS, see here we have the MySQL 8.0.41. It is tar file. We have to untar this file. tar hyphen xf give the MySQL give the tab to autofill entire tar file name and hit enter. LS, see here we have the list of the RPM packages. We have to install these packages sudo rpm hyphen ivh no depths then give star dot rpm hit enter it will install all the rpm packages See installation completed. Control L. Now verify the status of MySQL. Sudo systemctl status MySQL D. MySQL D is the service name. See MySQL is installed, but it is not started. So start it. Sudo systemctl start MySQL D. Hit enter. Now verify the status. See MySQL service is running. Well, now we have to connect to MySQL server. But we don't know the password of the MySQL user root. Okay. But we can get it from the CD where log ls. See here we have the MySQL D dot log so we can get it from this file more mysql give the five symbol grep password hit enter we must give the sudo hit enter see this is the temporary password okay so first now run the mysql underscore secure underscore installation so here we have to provide the password for root account. See, this is the temporary password. We have to give this one. Copy it. For you, this may be different. Copy it. Paste it. Hit enter. Now we have to set up the new password. So you provide the new password. Confirm the same. Change the password for root. I don't want because I have already changed. Remove anonymous users. Yes. No. Remove the test database. Yes. Reload the. Yes. All done. So we have set the password for the root account. Remember that password. Now connect to MySQL. Control L to clear screen. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide the password that we have set. See, we have successfully connected to MySQL server. 8.0.41 okay we can also verify the version by running the command select 
version. See, we have installed MySQL 8.0.41. Control L, show databases. It will give the list of the databases that comes with MySQL installation. See, these are the default databases that comes with MySQL 8.0.41 installation. Let's create a database by running the command create database, then provide the database. Now verify the same. Select databases. See, new database is there. Now switch to this new database by using the keyword use. Then provide the database name. Hit enter. Now verify the current database. Select database. See, we are in the bank database. Okay, now create a table in this database. Before creating, let us verify the list of the tables in this database. See, empty set, which means don't, we don't have any database because it is fresh database. So, create a table. Create. Now verify. Now insert some data into this table. Insert one more row. Now verify the data. See, we have inserted these rows. Now verify list of the users. Show users. This won't work. Just I want to show you. But we can get the list of the users by running the select statement against mysql.user. Select user. See, these are the default users that comes with mysql installation. To create new user, we have to run the command. Create user. Then we have to provide password in singular double quotes. Now verify the users. See, new user James is there. Now exit and connect to MySQL by using this user. See, we have successfully connected with the user James. Let us verify the current user. See, we have connected with the MySQL server with the user James. Now try to switch to database that is bank. See, we are unable to connect because see here access denied for the user James to this database because we have created user but we haven't granted any privileges. So connect to database or, or can any tables or uh, database objects we must have granted the privileges okay exit now we will see how to stop start and restart mysql service on federal link sudo systemctl stop mysql d hit enter now verify the status see mysql service is stopped Six seconds ago. So we can also verify by trying to connect to MySQL. See, we are unable to connect because MySQL server is stopped. So start it again. See, we have started 3 seconds ago. In the same way, if you want to restart, just to replace this start with restart. Hit enter, it is done. Okay. Go to home directory, cd, downloads, ls, control a, ls. See, we have successfully installed, so these files are not required anymore. So, remove them to clear the space. rm, 
utastar.rpm ls see here we have one more file that is tar file remove this one also rm give the mysql give the tab to autofill entire file name and hit enter ls okay so we have successfully cleared the space so in this video we have seen how to download install and configure mysql 8.0.41 on fedora linux for more mysql tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you